Alright guys, here's another uh, just straight video without any fancy editing. Um, I did make obviously some more progress on the turbine. Um, I'm going to make this short and sweet and give you a quick little output check on uh, the point I am now. You can see I've gotten the alternator together. I've got a one inch by one inch square neodymiums that are a half inch thick. And there's 12 of those. It's nine elliptical coils. I believe it's 85 turns at 18 gauge wire. I got the stator from C. Wayne Hawk. He did a beautiful job. And, um, and so it's dual magnet. So the 12 magnets on each side. Um, they've, been, they've been JB welded down to the 3 16th plate. And I've got uh, <clears throat> Bondo resin epoxy. I made a little uh, mold for it so that I can pour that in between and I'll show you some photos at the end there so you can kind of see things. Um, what else? I, I want to point out a few things because you always need to show your errors or problems or anything else. I just want to show you something. I do have 316 steel plates here and I, I mentioned I'd like to use a larger plate because I heard if a, uh, if a paper clip can stick here then your plate isn't thick enough. Now here's a uh, 7 16 wrench Look at that. So I'm, I, I, as I understand, um, I'm losing, I'm wasting a little magnetic flux by not having a thick enough plate. But again, this turbine is going to be mine that I'm going to just kind of put up and do tests with. And then that bare bones unit, that's going to be one of the other ones, and I'm going to use thicker plate for that. Maybe I need to go close, you know, thicker than quarter inch, and maybe I need to stack two three sixteenths. I don't know. Um, it just adds more work to it and everything else. So. <clears throat> There's that. And then one more thing I just want to point out to you. Now these these studs are at nine inches on center off of the center of the shaft, right? And uh I am uh I'm unladen here and it it's not much, but you see that little cog? It just wants to settle down in there. It's really slight and it probably isn't gonna amount to much. As you can see here, I can get it going. And she just runs reasonably free, but not too free, because I've got a little cog in there. There's a little magnetic influence on all three positions. And of course, I've got 12 magnets, so you know it, it lines up. Um, they line up with those those studs. I just wanted to show that. So maybe maybe these magnets need to come in closer. Maybe I need to use a different style of magnet. Um, there's some things there, but I just wanted to point that out. So you know, this is all testing, and and I just want to indicate that right off the bat. So the test. I know I know how you guys are. I'm the same way. I want to just see the output of this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hold it above charging voltage at some set interval and then we'll use the timer on the YouTube video itself and we'll kind of try and determine what uh, how many volts I've come up with or where, where we break, uh, how many RPM per volt and all this other stuff. So here we go. Um, I'll just try and make it consistent. My dog's came in here, so he's tapping. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. What the hell's going on here? I'm set to amps. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that wasn't much, huh? All right. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, Okay, so in that range of time that I had there, we should be able to determine um, how many volts that was, and obviously I'll probably put some kind of title on that. Now let's see what I can just get out by max it's turning as fast as I can. Looks like I can break 30 volts by the hand turn there. Um, so that's promising. Um, because I think I can get a blade going that fast, and I think as I checked it, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that I'm over... I tried to check it with a metronome app, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything too accurate with that, but I, I believe I'm over 12 volts at a, about approximately 120 RPM, but we'll check the video, so I don't want to make a statement and <laughs> have to take it back. But I, I think it's well within um, 
what's possible for this. So, okay, so that's that's just open volts for what that's worth. We all know open volts are not the real measure of what a turbine is gonna put out. And here we're gonna flip this multimeter over to amps. And uh, I, again, this is three phase and I have it set up to this three phase rectifier that I've more or less cobbled together from some Radio Shack full wave um, rectifiers. So that's why that's how this is coming together. So this is DC, right? That was DC open volts. So here's just amps, and we're just gonna try and see what we can get by the hand turn here without hurting myself. It's really a lot of resistance on there. Alright. So I wasn't really looking. I think I'm over four amps there. So ouch. Um so there we are. And there's a lot of resistance there. So, again, promising turbine. This is gonna be a very quick video. I'm gonna show a few pictures at the end of uh, some of the uh, some of the technique I've used to um, put it together. But um, we'll keep doing updates as we go. And with any luck, we'll have this in the air and gosh, it's a few days with any luck. So, um, thank you very much and until next time.